A rally by abortion rights advocates started just about 30 minutes ago in Dogtown. If you take a look, this was the scene on the Tam Bridge. They were holding pro-Rose signs, and they plan to demonstrate for another 90 minutes there. Senators from both sides of the aisle today have sounded off on the leaked report, including Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri and Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois. If indeed the court does overrule Roe, it will open up a whole new set of conversations about policy that we have needed to have in the country for a long, long time. Uh, it's going to force us to talk about um, family policy. It's going to force us to talk about adoptions. And I think that's going to be good. Let's get down to the bottom line. Alito makes it very clear early in this opinion the word abortion is not in the Constitution. Neither is the word privacy. Neither is the guarantee that individuals and families have the right to family planning and birth control. That had to be a decision by the Supreme Court. And if we're going to call into question those things that are not explicitly protected in that Constitution, it includes not only family planning and birth control, but the consensual activity of individuals, as well as uh, access for uh, gay marriage and such, N none of that is included in the Constitution either. If he wants to be that explicit, I'm afraid uh, he's taking us down a road which is going to be disastrous to modern America. News 4 is tracking what this could mean for St. Louis Metro residents and their access to an abortion if Roe v. Wade is overturned. Our Gabriela Vidal has spent the day getting reaction from pro and anti-abortion advocates. She joins us live downtown ahead of an abortion rights rally taking place there tonight. Gabby. Yeah, Corey, in fact, we're going to hear from some pro-abortion advocates later on tonight at 5 o'clock outside the Thomas Eagleton building a courthouse downtown. But earlier today, I've been speaking with people from both sides of the aisle, people who are pro about ending access to an abortion, say that the Supreme Court's draft decision is a great day for life. Meanwhile, people who are in support of pro-abortion rights in uh, states like Missouri say that while they've been expecting something like this to happen, it's still uh, learning today that Roe versus Wade could be overturned doesn't make the news any less painful. People were not, did not believe that Roe was really threatened, even our supporters. There is no clearer sign than this draft opinion that people should need to understand that we are at a crisis moment. This is go time and they have every intention of decimating the protections of Roe um, in the coming days and weeks. Right now, abortions in Missouri are legal up to 22 weeks into pregnancy with the restriction that a patient must make two trips to a health center and wait 72 hours in between trips before obtaining an abortion. But 2019 legislation signed by Governor Mike Parson includes something called a trigger law, meaning that if Roe v. Wade is overturned, nearly all abortions statewide would become illegal. So for a Missouri woman, this means having to travel across state lines for abortion care. Illinois currently does not not have a mandatory waiting period for getting an abortion or a trigger law in the books, which would mean abortion care will likely remain even without Roe v. Wade. You know, Illinois will be surrounded by states on every border uh, that is losing access. And so even as we anticipate the impact just in southern Illinois, where we serve patients alongside our sister clinic, Hope Clinic for Women, you know, we are anticipating somewhere on the order of an additional 15,000 patients per year seeking care from outside of our, our normal service area. Earlier today, Attorney General Eric Smith tweeted his support for the Supreme Court draft decision, calling it encouraging and saying, quote, if Roe is overturned, I'm prepared to immediately issue the opinion protecting the unborn in Missouri. Now, News 4 did ask the Archdiocese of St. Louis, as well as Missouri Right to Life, for comment on this Supreme Court draft decision. And they both say that they're waiting for an official ruling from the Supreme Court. And coming up tonight at 5, we'll have more from this rally that's going to be taking place at 5 o'clock, as well as other limitations and ramifications that could happen for people in Missouri and Illinois if Roe v. Wade is overturned. Reporting live, Gabriella Vidal, News 4. Stay